The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everyone and welcome to today's Great Garment Graphics webinar. My name is Peggy Elliott. I work with marketing at Stalls ID Direct and my position is product manager and training manager and I'm happy to be with all of you today and I hope that you get a lot of good information out of this webinar. We've got quite a few people have registered and are attending today and we will have opportunity to have you ask some questions throughout the webinar and of course we can go over questions at the end as well. So today we're going to be talking about pricing, heat printing projects, and with that, we also want to talk about creating customer loyalty, ways that you can keep that customer coming back to you for the sale. So a little bit about what we're going to cover. In this webinar, we're going to show you how to price various jobs, um, from out, outfitting a team to providing one-off customized apparel. No two jobs are ever alike. There's short runs, there's um, one-offs, there's larger runs. So we're going to show you different prices that you can sell projects for and what your uh, approximate costs are. The other thing that we're going to talk about is what are the items that you're, you should factor into your pricing formula. So to talk a little bit about that, the one thing that you're going to want to especially consider is, of course, your overhead. All of that includes your labor. Um, for the person that might be doing the heat printing for you, for all the equipment that, that is being used, any supplies needed to decorate your items. In addition to that, the cost of the item being decorated itself. Um, often this does include freight when you have an item shipped to you, if you have a case or whatever the quantity may be, but shipping costs factor into all of that as well. And the reason I'm going over some of this is that even if um, though many of you may be current customers or you've been in the business for a little while, these are things that are helpful for some of our newer attendees as well, so people that are just getting started into the business. And of course you want to factor in the cost of the decorating method itself that you are using. Some of the other factors to consider um, are the decorating methods themselves. So when you're comparing different decorating methods and what you're going to use, that's going to also help you determine what you can price a project for for your customer. Something that's screen printed versus something that's embroidered. Embroidered has always carried a classic value to it, so the perceived value is a higher end item or look, and that's something that's going to be able to give you the opportunity to sell that at a higher price point. Also, um, transfers versus screen printing. If you have transfer stock down the shelf, that might not be as um, much labor, of course, to produce an item as it would be to go ahead and set up all your screen printing equipment and run through the process of decorating. So there's different ways of decorating that's going to factor into your cost as well. And again, we talked about short run or single items versus large runs. These all will factor in as well. If you're doing a larger run, you're going to spread that setup cost over several different items. Say it's an order for 100 and your setup cost um, to your customer is $50, you're going to be able to spread that across those items. Whereas your single run item, any customization or art fee that you um, that is going to be involved is going to be only geared towards that one item and that's something that your customer is going to have to pay a higher end price for. However, they're getting a unique customized item. So generally they are willing to pay for that price. Some of the other considerations that you want to make are your market. Everybody is located in a different area, so today the examples we're showing you are not going to necessarily include your costs of running equipment because we don't know specifically what equipment or decorating method you're using and we're not really sure what region you're in so what the pricing structure is like in your area. But do always check to see what your competition is doing. It's very important that you hold a price point that is going to be similar to your competition. And one more thing to factor into the actual decorating method is the type of apparel or accessories items that you're printing. Are they a low end piece of apparel or is it a higher end? So if you're using a name brand blank good, that's something that may acquire, that is definitely going to acquire a higher price point. So if you're using an Under Armour, 
Lycra spandex performance wear versus a generic brand of Lycra spandex performance wear. All that's going to factor into your costs. And lastly, we're going to go over, again, tips to create, keep and create loyal customers. So before we go through some of our examples, what I'd like to do is just ask a quick poll question. And Nicole, if you could launch that so everybody can weigh in. And this will just give us an idea of the type of decorating methods or equipment that you are using in your shop. Thanks, Peggy. We do have the results. What type of equipment do you own? We have 34% that has a vinyl cutter, 40% that has heat press, 12% with embroidery, another 12% with screen printing, and 2% with DTG. And what was the percentage for embroidery again, please? 12. Okay, great. So we have quite a variety in the um, attendees that we have listening today. And a vinyl cutter um, owners, that's going to bring up a good point too. There's differences in the pricing that I've put together versus what you might actually charge a customer or um, versus what your costs may be. Um, there's always a difference when you're ordering a service from one of your suppliers. What If you're, say, ordering a heat transfer product that you just upload your artwork versus whether you're going to take roll goods, use your vinyl cutter, and cut it yourself. Anytime that you do it yourself, you're adding a little bit more labor into the process. However, um, the price of the material and the square inch pricing ends up being a little bit cheaper for you. So to get started, the first thing we're going to show is personalized lacrosse apparel. And the product used in this um, example is heat transfer material. So it's a film-like heat transfer material. And I say this is personalized because of the actual individual player number that is inserted into the graphic or cut into the graphic. Now, a design like this on the hoodie, for example, is $4.35. And the hoodie itself, we price at $7.75. And this is all just using basic um, apparel. So again, if you want to, if you choose to offer a uh, branded hoodie such as maybe Champion or something of that nature, your price may go up a little bit. So our total cost here was $12.10. And in the industry, what we found is that selling price for something like this can range from $18 on the low end to $30 on the high end. Now again, that $30 isn't quite representing this example in the photo, but say you put a name, a last name on the back of that hoodie, that then makes it even more of a personalized item, and you might be able to get $30 for that. So we're going to say the mid-range for this would probably be doubling your costs, and, or if not a little bit more, and you could sell this easily at $24. The other example that we have is the same similar design on a hat, only without the individual player number. The design price was $2, and again, this is purchasing this design from one of your suppliers. And the hat itself was $159, bringing the cost to $359. So your price range for a, a hat like this, a basic design, is going to be anywhere from $750 to $1250. And, and as you can see in the photo, it is a one-color design. Now, one of the things that you can do to add a little bit more to the profit is increase this to a two-color design if you so choose. Um, certain items you can create a two-color design or just stick with the one color, but there's always different ways that you can add on to that sale and bring more value to your customer. One example of that is on the bag itself. It's got the knights with the individual uh, number, and again, you can put the, the uh, player's last name on the bag on the side of it so that it's easily identified. So these are just little ways that you can upsell to your customer and increase the value of that product for them. Speaking of the bag, that design is actually 350 and the bag itself was 1347 
So you can see the cost is sixteen ninety seven, and our, we are pricing that anywhere from twenty five to thirty dollars for each bag. And again, this price may adjust depending on the quantity that you're printing. You're going to probably get a little bit more money for something that you're doing um, for individuals or printing on demand one at onesie twosie pieces. And as you know, for those of you that do screen printing or large runs of items, that price can go down for larger runs. So these are just ballpark uh, prices that we're giving you here. And just a few tips for creating customer loyalty. One of the things that you can do for the team manager is to make ordering easier. Ask them what challenges that they're putting that they have when they are putting together their team orders and how you can help them. Come up with ways to help them make the whole process easier. That's going to make that team manager come back into your store year after year or for the next sports season to get uniforms, supplies, and equipment through you. The other item that you can do is making for making an add-on sale easy, create order forms for individual players that you hand to the team manager. Each individual player can complete the information, their, their name, their number that goes on the jersey. Then they can also see the additional items that you have available at the bottom of the order form that you would list, such as bags, caps, warm-ups. You could even offer them a package um, price. So if you're offering them a package price, maybe give them a 10% discount. That way you're selling more items to them, but they're still getting a discount from it. And maybe even throw in th free delivery. The team manager is busy enough not to have to worry about going to your store and picking up the order. It would just be something that makes that customer very happy by you delivering it. It takes some stress off of them. and they can think about other things and, and get back to the coaching. The next example that we're going to talk about is personalized baseball jersey. This is happens to be decorated with pre-cut heat transfer letters and numbers. As you can see, it is a two-color design, and it is still personalized because it does have the individual player's number on it. Now you do have the option of decorating, again, the back of the jersey with a last name if you so choose. So this design was $2.44. The jersey itself was $17.45. And the total cost $19.89. And again, this is something that can be sold anywhere from $25 to $30. And in this particular example, this is an adult-sized jersey, so keep in mind your prices are also going to vary when you're doing kids' jerseys or little league teams, mini mites, things like that. So you're going to have a, a less expensive blank good probably when you're doing a kids versus an adult-sized jersey. One of the other items that you can do to keep customers coming back in your store along the lines of customer customer loyalty is offer free personalization for the coaching staff on their shirts or on jackets. It's just a little perk when they place their order for you, you can give something back to them. Those little things really do mean a lot and I have some examples I'm going to share later on that made me think of how our customers can give their customers added value and what I see and what I find value in um, just every day when I go to restaurants or stores. This example is a personalized t-shirt created with laser transfer paper and then it's got an added element of heat transfer foil. This happens to be, um, as you can see, a design for Team Bride. A lot of the um, bridal parties now when they go for bachelorette parties, they're, they're all wearing different t-shirts or, you know, sh shirts that match each other. This design happens to be $1.50. The t-shirt itself is $4.16. And again, this is something that you're going to print in-house using a laser printer. So your transfer paper cost is very minimal. So is the ink cost. Um, and you've got a little bit of price into your heat transfer foil. But the total design cost is $1.50. T-shirt $4.16. So your cost is five sixty six. This is something that I found online selling for twenty two dollars, and the actual item that I found online at twenty two dollars was not even personalized. So again, personalization allows you to sell for more. In this particular example, you can see the date of the wedding, and you can also see the bride's name, Katie. 
So again, personalization, anything you can do to up your profit on the item and add value to your customer. One of the tips that you could use for creating customer loyalty is advertise things that you decorate items such as this. And what you might want to do is offer the bride her shirt for free when the bridal party orders with you. So just little incentives that you can give to get that business. In, re in regards to upselling, for a small charge, you could also offer free um, offer rhinestones as an embellishment. You could either offer it free when you're wanting to create more customer loyalty, or if you so choose, just do an upsell and offer it at, at a small charge. Nicole, are there any questions at this point? Peggy, we did have a few pricing okay. questions, and I did let them know that they'll be answered in the blog file on the webinar. Okay, wonderful. We are going to be following up with you with a blog post on the Great Garment Graphics site where you can get more information. Um, we do have a lot of questions that come in at, during the webinar and after that we may not be able to answer on the spot, so we will follow up in a blog post. And also pricing questions um, tend to be individualized, so we can take those one-on-one -on -one and directly correspond back to you. The next example we're going to show is a customized long sleeve t-shirt. And the product used here, again, is heat transfer material. This particular design incorporates two different kinds of heat transfer material. One is a basic fashion film that's thin and lightweight. The other one is a metallic gold. So you're adding a little bit of um, bling, if you want to say, to your garment. And it does have a, the perceived higher end value then. This design happened to cost $7.02. And again, if you're cutting in-house with your vinyl cutter, all you vinyl cutter owners, you can do that less expensive in-house. Um, again, it's a little bit of a learning curve for any of you that are new and aren't familiar with cutting on a vinyl cutter. Um, and there's some artwork involved. But you can do it for a, a less, less of a price in-house. The t-shirt itself is $7, bringing the total cost to $14.02. Items like this are selling for $20 to $25 uh, throughout the internet that we've found. Now one of the things that we want to talk about here is standard films versus special effects. And by special effects what I mean is any type of film that has a texture or uh, a bling look to it that's glitzy, um, that would be your glitters, anything that shows an iridescent shade, flock that has texture to it and other finishes, um, that's something that you can add more value to your customer and you can put it in a higher pricing structure. Or maybe you leave them the same and you just price all of your, your film products a little bit higher. It's all up to what your customers um, will pay for the product and all, also what your competitors are offering in your area. One of the things that you might consider doing is putting your items into categories such as basic, standard, or premium. So your regular film might be a basic price level, and your premium is going to be those um, glitzy, different special effect heat transfer materials. One of the other things that I think would be a really fun thing to do, and it really does add value, and I think it keeps customers coming back for more and it would keep them coming back into your store is let them be a part of the design process. And I think of teenagers and, and the tweens, teens and tweens when I say this, but I can just imagine them coming into the store and there are a few shops that do this, but let them be a part of the design process. It adds value for them, it's fun for them, they can pick out their own color of shirt they can pick out their own color of the design, and it's letting them have their unique item created. They can choose their colors, materials, font style, and even the placement of the design. So that adds a little bit of value for your younger generation customers as well. This next item is something that is really growing in popularity with all of the um, different outside outdoor activities, running, bicycling, those are becoming more and more popular. Um, jogging, all of the fitness um, exercises, 
and all of this performance wear is huge. One of the things that we're recommending is decorating with reflective. That obviously is something that's going to be important to your customer because it's about safety. Um, so this is a, a higher end price as well. This design happens to be $1.80. The running top itself is $11. Your total cost is going to be $12.80 but you're going to be able to get about $25 for this tank top. And this particular top is just a generic brand of performance wear. There is no um, special brand to it. So if you were to embellish with reflective on, um, say, a name brand product, then you're going to be able to get even more of a, pr a better price out of the customer for it. In the particular example of the running pants, you're talking about $360 for your design. $9.50 for the running pants, and your total cost being $13.10. Now something like this you could probably get $25 to $30 to $40 for. So again, it's a higher end look, it's a higher end product. It's about keeping your customers safe, so there's a lot of value in that. Now we're just trying to cover a bunch of different types of um, garments for you today. So we've gone from sports and some fashion. Now we're going to talk about traditional applique. Now this design does not incorporate the stitch count um, because it does. it is sewn down with a zigzag stitch. So it's a two color twill material in your traditional applique. So it does save you some stitches, um, but there is just the outer stitching to keep it in place. The design itself was 562, so you would need to incorporate your embroidery machine costs and thread costs, etc. The hoodie is 775, and the cost on this is 1337. So you're looking anywhere in the market for this to sell at 20 to 25 dollars. Now we're going to talk about a little bit different applique. This is a customized hoodie. This is called Distressed Applique. As many of you are probably aware, it's an extremely popular item in the marketplace right now. And it does demand a higher end look and price. And depending on the type of garment you choose to put it on, is going to add that much more flair to it. So this is, this is a pretty nice zip up sweatshirt. It's a full zip hoodie. The design itself was 321. Again, this is sewn on, so that price does not incorporate your stitching. But just ballparking the applique itself, 321. The hoodie, 2150. It is a nicer hoodie sweatshirt. So your total cost here is 2471. And these are going at minimum $45. I have seen actually higher prices of $69.70. $75 on hoodies like this. And again, you can make it, instead of a one color, make it a two color. Um, there's, this is just a huge, hugely popular item. So here's a difference in the decorating methods. While your sewing costs may be the same for this distressed applique, and I'm going to go back to the regular, to the regular applique, this hardcore sweatshirt has a much higher fashion end look to it. So again, you're going to be able to sell that for a bit more money than you would a standard or traditional applique. Nicole, are there any questions that I'm able to answer aside from any pricing specific? We did have one question. They want to know, is the love and peace design, could it be found in CadWorks Live? Or was that something you created on your own? That is a customized design, so it will not be found in CAD Works. Okay, that looks it's like funny. Found there's, um, there's, there have been questions. What's that? Looks like all the other questions are actually regarding the pricing. Okay, great. So a lot of our customers have inquired about different um, designs that we have created for our catalog, for webinars, and things like that. And um, if you have any special requests for some of the items that you see on our website, please send us a note at Facebook. Um, our Facebook page is Stalls All Things Heat Printing, or you can send it to at Stalls ID Direct on Twitter, 
and inquire about re receiving those. We are um, looking at making those available to our customer just to have as stock designs. Okay, Peggy, we do so have the a next question. Item, and actually, final item that we're going to talk about. Sure. Okay, they want to know can applique be heat transferred? Well, it all depends on the type of material you're ordering your applique in. If you ordered something that was a permanent, had a permanent adhesive, you could heat seal it or heat press it without it um, stitching it. But you'd want to make sure that the option that you have, you've gotten that cut in, is a laser because it's going to sear the edges so that it doesn't fray. Um, so there's different types of materials out there that are just available for use with your heat press versus ones that do need to be sewn down because they may not have a permanent adhesive on them. Any other questions? Um, well, that looks like, uh, they want to know how many washes can reflective go through and still be reflective. Um, actually, with reflective, you're just going to choose to wash that with a mild detergent, just cool or um, warm, cool settings. So nothing too um, harsh on it. You don't want to use bleach or anything like that, and you're going to be fine. It's going to still maintain its reflectivity. Okay, thank you so much, Peggy. You're welcome. So this last item that we're going to be talking about is um, a little bit away from apparel. We've got something a specialty item that you can offer in your store. It's a customized makeup bag, and again, it's using heat transfer material. And this happens to be a glitter flake material, so it adds a little bit of um, pizzazz to it. The design itself is 324, and the bag itself is three dollars, bringing your cost to six twenty-four. And you can easily sell this for ten to twelve dollars. And this is an item that, again, personalization adds value. Um, Bella could be the name of a store, but it could also be the name of a, a little girl. So you can always customize these and let your customers choose the color of the makeup bag, choose coordinating design colors, making the product unique to your customer, and then that does justify a higher price point. The last thing I'm going to talk about is a little bit about promotions to create customer loyalty. One of the things that uh, I would recommend that you do is profile the schools in your area. Mark special dates that um, are happening within the school year, and if it's homecoming, you want to know when that's coming so that you can be proactive and sell to these schools for special events. Promote specials using the school name printed on a, on a window cling and post it in your, on the window in your store. So it's more of a personal message to students and staff that, that are in the area. When they come by your store, you're going to have their school name on it, and it's going to draw them in just from that. The other thing is when the homecoming game is coming around the corner, you might consider offering a free banner if they order their uniforms through you, if they order their booster um, fan club apparel. Also, think about when sports tournaments are being played. These are all different times where you can add value to that school and to these customers in your area and provide them with specials or promotions to get them the items they need for their events. One thing I like to um, take advantage of myself is discount cards. These are huge for me. I have a few favorite restaurants, and I'm very loyal to these restaurants because of not only how they treat me um, with service, but also because they have special promotions that keep me coming back. One of them offers a 10% discount on my bill every time I visit. That gets me going back there all the time. Not to mention, as I said, their service is wonderful, very friendly, but this is something that you can offer your customers as well. Another example is a different restaurant that I go to. They offer um, a point system. So every time I go there and I order, we accrue points. And once you get to 10 points, you get $10 off your next meal. So again, these are things that draw people in. You might want to remember customers' birthdays. Keep them in your, um, 
if you have an iPad or you have your uh, a phone, you can always track these things that way. It might take a little bit of time in the beginning to track this information and put it in your database, but in the long run it's really going to pay off because that's truly offering wow service or personalized service to your customers and they'll just be amazed that you remember them. So some of the discount cards that you might be able to provide, um, give a free birthday item, give a free item for a birthday or um, offer a discount card similar to that of a car wash where the sixth purchase is free or perhaps 5% off every purchase or even $5 off a $25 purchase. There's different ways that you can go about that. The other thing is lastly donate to the cause. There's so many of our customers that are ordering items for charitable events and one of the things that you can do is either donate an, a free item be it a banner or buttons, um, various items to the cause, maybe decorated koozies, or you could also donate 10% of the sales that you receive from the order to the, to the cause. So again, it's just showing that you are, you are a person too, and it brings that personal element into the business, and you with your customer maintain a, a growing relationship that way. So just a few things that you can do to create customer loyalty. And that pretty much rounds out our webinar. And I would like to thank all of you for joining us today. I hope that some of this pricing information gives you an idea of what you can get for cert printing certain items in, in terms of selling price, um, how you can profit. If you do have specific questions, again, please let us know. You can let us know on our Facebook page. You can also send us a tweet via Twitter, or you can post questions to our blog, and we will definitely get back to you with any uh, questions that you have. So thank you for joining us. Please register for our upcoming webinars. Dynamite Sales Strategies, Art of the Upsell is October 6th, which is Thursday. And then following that, we have Corporate Gift Ideas with CAD Prints Full Color Digital Transfers. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day.